Hey guys, it's Hero, and today I'm back with another video. I know it's been a couple weeks, but I'm back. And as a popular demand, I finally shaved, and I think the mustache is gone for good. So that's also something I wanted to mention. But uh, so today we're going to be talking about the difference between accepting a thought and believing a thought. So one thing we need to understand is that actually two things. One is that we constantly feed ourselves stories in our brain about our life. And two, our mind throws fears at us related to these stories. So we constantly have images that or kind of stories we're creating about other people in our life, other like circumstances in our life. Like for example, you know, I am this person with this job you know, driving this car, living in this house with this spouse. And because I have these things, people should be, or I think people are perceiving me in this way. That's what I mean by this story. Now, the fears your mind throws at you is kind of like, um, let's just say you drive a certain car and a fear would be like, oh, you know, um, people like... Uh, that person better because you know he, he drives a better car she she you know is wearing nicer clothes than you something like that so that's the difference between the fears and you know the actual stories we recycle in our head and i'm going to get into these two also uh just to go over the points real fast at the beginning so the fears are what we need to accept as i said you know the stories and fears are separate and the stories help determine our reality so you guys have, might have heard the term manifestation. So manifestation, I'm not going to get too much into this video, but it depends a lot upon the stories we feed ourselves. But a lot of people get confused and they think that the, the, that these stories could, they kind of get confused the difference between the stories and the fears that your mind throws at you. So let me give you an example. So you want to feed yourself positive stories about your life. Um, you know, nothing really rooted too much out of ego if possible, but the fears your mind throws at you, you do not want to change. You do not want to kind of fight back and forth with your mind. Like, let's just say the previous example, like, Hey, you know, um, this person is better looking than you. Or this person has more money than you. People probably like them better. You, you want to accept that fear. You basically, you, you're not going to win with your ego in your mind. You basically want to accept the fact that, okay, if, if people like that person better, that's okay. So there's two parts kind of uh, actually with manifestation. There's actually the part of changing the stories and there's also the part of accepting the fears. Because if you don't accept these fears, these fears subconsciously and kind of energetically will also affect how well you are able to manifest things because these fears are still lingering around in your subconscious and you might not be aware of it because it's not at the conscious level, it's in the subconscious, but it is going to affect you if you keep, uh, if you don't take care of these fears. So any fears you have, like I said, you're going to want to accept and the stories, the stories we feed ourselves, we also want to make sure that they're a little bit more grounded. So what does it mean by grounded? So the ego is in our head. It's high. Grounded means we're kind of getting out of our head a little bit, kind of getting out of our ego and living kind of in the real world. So if you have more money than, let's just say, you know, your whole friend circle, a story your ego could try to feed you is, hey, you know, I'm better than everybody else here. Or let's just say you're the tallest or best looking or something like that. Yeah, hey, I'm, I'm better than everybody else. But what we want to do is 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 change that story. So uh, like for an example of this in this situation could be hey, you know, I'm I'm grateful to be, you know, have a friend circle like I do rather than hey, I'm I'm better than everybody, you know, else here or you know, that that's just one example. Um I can get into more examples in future videos, but the way, the way I'm kind of going to teach you how to be aware of these stories, the number one way is you want to catch yourself when you try to suppress something and meditation. So I know meditation is not everyone's thing. 
at least at the beginning, and that's okay. But what do I mean by catch yourself before you suppress something? Okay, so we've been kind of trained in society that um, to, to kind of, whenever we get emotional about something, to kind of stuff it down. That, I would encourage you to look at it from a different perspective. So emotions are actually good to an extent. So we don't want to completely act irrationally out of emotions, right? Like if we're angry, we don't just want to punch someone. But the emotions can help give us clues about, about like the thoughts circulating in our subconscious and our conscious. Emotions can make us more aware. That's why they're there, right? So for example, if we get angry when, let's just say, um, you know, if, if, you're, if you're interested in, you know, um, a girl or a guy and you get angry when someone else starts dating that person, we, we can kind of, you know, hone in on that anger a little bit and see how we can, you know, adjust the story in our mind. So we could get angry because, and this is just an example, we could get angry because, you know, we wanted that other person to be ours. Um, you know, we could be angry because we thought we were better than that person, which is not, you know, really true. So th this is just a couple examples, but I would encourage you that if meditation is not your thing, meditation is obviously going to be the easiest way because you kind of get to the emotions like that. Because you're sitting still, I'm actually going to talk about meditation in a second. But when you get, whenever certain emotions rise in you, good or bad, okay? And so I gave a bad example. So a good emotion that could happen, let's just say you do start dating someone very, uh, let's just say attractive or with a lot of money or something. And, and you get that kind of ecstasy feeling. We also want to catch ourselves there because... In the moment, yeah, it might feel good, and I'm not saying to, to you know suppress the, the the happy feeling, but we also want to be aware to keep ourselves in check and to and to say, hey, you know, e even if that person does disappear, that it's okay. You know, we, we want to make sure to keep to to, uh, to basically maintain a a healthy level of attachment to our desires. Now, how does meditation help you get to those emotions like that? Well, most of the time in our world today, we distract ourselves. We distract ourselves with social media, TV, uh, drinking, whatever. We have all kinds of ways to distract ourselves all day. Now, when we meditate, we're basically forced to sit still. And when we distract ourselves, we're basically shoving down thoughts and emotions. Now, when we meditate, all those thoughts and emotions just come to the top. Now, what happens a lot of times is that people can't sit still. Because they're not, they're just not used to, you know, facing their thoughts and emotions, which is okay. I'm going to make a video on how to gradually increase your meditation practice. But that's why I would kind of encourage you to look into meditation. And let's just say it's not your thing or it's taking too long. Just notice your emotions and your emotions can help you, like, will basically give you valuable clues on what thoughts um, and you like what thoughts that you know you might want to be aware of floating at a subconscious or conscious level, and these thoughts could be fears that you basically want to accept, or stories that you may want to twist a little bit so that you know you're not acting out as much, um, you know, from ego. And uh, when you do these, these will drastically, um, you know, improve your mental health along with a host of other effects. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time. See you.